Hey guys, this is Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you and today we're going to take our first look at one of the uh, first Asus boards. I've actually managed to get my hands on at home and it's a P8 P67 Deluxe. Uh, a lot of you moan that I spend too much time on the box and stuff like that but it's a new product so I am going to spend a little bit of time on it. Give you a good look around the motherboard as well. Uh, but just to clarify, there is still an Intel NDA till the uh, 9th of January 2011. Uh, so I'm not allowed to take the heatsink off. Uh, I'm not allowed to show you inside the CPU socket. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's a few things that I can and can't do. So please bear with us. We're just trying to bring you um, as much of this new technology as we can, as early as we can. But staying within the borders that keep us out of court. So... I'm going to be quiet, I'm going to bring the camera right in and yeah, you're not going to have to see my ugly mug for a little bit. Right then guys, this is our first good look at uh, one of the uh, new Asus P67 boards which are officially getting uh, released to all you lucky punters uh, in 2011. As we can see, first look at the uh, uh, Intel P67 chipset and the uh, 1155 socket which is replacing the 1156 socket uh, obviously got to stay within NDA but there you can see we've got a, lo a lovely black box uh, and then this bright green uh, logo in which immediately made me think that the board was going to be black and green but when I pop that open it's not it's actually blue but anyway if we have a look uh, we can see that the uh, Asus are pushing this new thing which is Digi Plus VRM EPU and uh, the TPU which is part of their dual intelligent processors thing that they're pushing a lot at the moment. Uh, there's several uh, things here about the EFI BIOS, the new AI suite which you can also get um, access to in the EFI BIOS as well as on Windows. You can overclock from within Windows although I wouldn't really use that to be quite honest with you. Um, uh, Crossfire X and SLI compatible but then the 1156 uh, and the P55s technically were as well. I can't go into too much detail about that because of uh, the amount of lanes and stuff that are available on the PCI Express. So that's all within the NDA and there's some talk about the um, DTS surround sensation ultra PC which is all to do with their um, audio. Looking on the back it's the same old gump as we were looking at before, but let's get the box open. Now, when we take the board out the way, we'll look at that in more depth in a moment. We can see we've got the usual um, I.O. plate for the back. We've got some SATA 6 connectors. I can tell they're SATA 6 because they're the, the white Asus ones. Then you've got your normal kind of quick connect fittings. That's an SLI bridge. More SATA connectors, yada yada yada. Driver disc and a sticker, a couple of guides. But this is quite interesting. Um, it's nice to see that they've actually bundled this with the board as well. We did see it while we were away. But basically, I want to bring it in so that the camera can see. It's a three and a half inch drive bay with two USB 3 slots but it's got the onboard SATA 3 connector on it so if you haven't got um, a USB 3 case you can still have this showing at the front so all lovely lovely now the bit that most of you have probably been skipping to try and find the actual board itself now if I get it on the camera, right, what I'm going to do now um, is uh, pop you off, in fact I might try and zoom you in, let's have a look, and then I'll move the board about. We will experiment together. There you can see the uh, top half of the board. I actually quite like these uh, new heat sinks that Asus have brought in. Uh, as this is the first time that I've had to do this for you in this way, I'm trying to do it so the camera's still and I just move the board. 
you can see those new heat sinks. Now I quite like that design. We have a look there, you can see the uh, large Southbridge heatsink. I'm going to pull this protective plastic off. The next reviewer can pretend it was there. And then we can have a look at the uh, what we would call the uh, Northbridge chipset there. Obviously, I'm not allowed to take you, um, uh, I'm not allowed to take these off to show you just yet. Can say it is dual channel RAM. Now something that I am going to have to do a little bit more research into is this, because three different colour SATA slots suggest to me that we've got three SATA um, controllers on here. So whether that means we've got uh, the South Bridge is controlling two and we've got an extra one, or whether we have actually got three independent SATA connectors, I don't know. Uh, but again, this could also be part of the NDA because I'm not allowed to talk about chipsets too much. So, yes, this is a toughie. One thing I have just noticed at the back, and I will also clarify this for you, but I'm pretty sure this little baby here is uh, a Bluetooth connector. Bluetooth Go. Uh, mainly because it says BT Go there. Uh, basically, this is so that you can um, uh, hook your phone up and transfer files and control the BIOS and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's also so you can watch films on your phone, um, listen to music on your phone, and rather than having a software within Windows that does it, basically this is all uh, technology that's built into the motherboard. Um, so that could be quite funky and very handy for a lot of you. A uh, bit of a gimmick if I'm perfectly honest, but to be quite honest with you, I know there's lots of people out there that like their toys. Uh, it's quite strange to see Legacy still on, but at the end of the day, um, sometimes uh, the boards can get really picky getting into BIOS and stuff like that until you've made a few setting changes, so this is great for that. It's also uh, much faster to get into BIOS when you use a PS2. But not being funny, there is oodles of um, USB slots and we've got two, four, six, eight and then two um, USB 3s making uh, ten in total. Uh, we have got two Ethernet connectors. Uh, there is onboard audio. I'm looking now to see what the uh, chipset is and it, it's can't see because of the light. ALC329 chipset for the audio by the looks of things. Uh, I really should have got my magnifying glass out before I uh, <laughs> did the video. But there's an awful lot crammed onto this board really when you think about it. The fact that we've got the good old NEC We've got front panel USB 3, you've got uh, TPU uh, dip switches so you can actually turn it off on the fly without having to go into the BIOS. You've got an EPU dip switch here, power and reset switches, LCD posters. Uh, when you're overclocking, these are immensely handy uh, because if you get a freeze, as in not that it stops on a number, but if the uh, system actually completely freezes and locks up, whatever this uh, code links to basically tells you where the problem is. And it's a great way of fault finding. Uh, for a beginner, you, you will have to kind of experiment. For all of you out there that have been, uh, know about these, are going to be, do you know what I mean, been able to see it, it's brilliant. Um, there is a PLX chip here as well, which I've just noticed, which is rather interesting. But yeah, there's lots of talk about the digital VRMs and the, the power delivery to the CPU socket itself. But 
But there we have it guys, uh, a very brief um, hands-on of the Asus P8 P67 Deluxe. Uh, hopefully you can uh, get all the information from the actual video itself. For argument's sake, like we do have um, three PCI Express slots, but the fact that uh, we've got only one in a in a certain colour should say a lot. I can't say it out loud, so I'm hoping people will be able to uh, come to their own conclusions. I'm kind of trying to lead you to the answers that you're all going to be asking. But a very good looking board nonetheless. I'm actually quite impressed with the, the looks. I do think uh, initially that the uh, RAM slots could have been moved slightly closer to the outside of the board. There does, I think they could have probably uh, put the, all of these, uh, located these a lot better and moved the RAM away. Because at the end of the day we do like a bit of clearance around the CPU socket and the further that the RAM is away the better chance that we've got of being able to use massive heat sinks with some of the larger RAM. Although I'm a complete Mushkin convert now, um, it Mushkin fits under every heat sink. So to be quite honest with you, that's really not an issue for me. But I know it will be for a lot of you. But yeah, that's enough. Let's uh, get this wrapped up. Right then, guys and girls. Uh, that's our first look at the Asus P8 P67 uh, Deluxe board. Uh, I'm sorry that I've had to be quite um, uh, vague with some of the details, but as I said, uh, it's all to do with NDA. Uh, and rather than telling you the information, I've hopefully kind of guided you towards making your own assumptions because you don't need to read. Um, a lot of the details about the uh, upcoming uh, chipsets and stuff like that. You, when, when you look at the board, the answers are kind of there for you already. Um, all I will say is uh, colours tell a lot of a uh, much bigger story than you could possibly believe. Um, but a great looking board from Asus. I'm certainly looking forward to seeing uh, what the competition have to offer as well. Um, I can say for you now, for definite, keep an eye on the channel because I have got a lot more um, of the new 1155 stuff coming for previews and stuff like that. Uh, January is going to be an incredibly busy month for all review sites. Um, I've, yeah, the, the amount of the workload and the diary at the moment for us at Overclock 3D for January is completely crackers. Uh, so uh, 2011 is going to be a busy, busy and hopefully very prosperous year for us all. But I'm going to love you and leave you on this rather dreary and drab Sunday afternoon. Uh, get this video rendered and get it uploaded for you all to have a look at. Um, also keep an eye out because I'm hoping, as long as I get time today, to get you a subscriber video uploaded because I've got some little bits and bobs. The only reason why I can't do it straight away is because my room is a complete tip. Uh, the office, if I can't, I'm not sure whether, no. Um, the office is a bomb site, right? This week has been so busy. But I'll shut up because this is a video about this. Uh, loving the look of this, uh, really looking forward to working with it, uh, and I'm really looking forward to sharing. Uh, all the rest of the information with you about this when I'm allowed to as well. So, for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with his first hands-on look that he's been able to share with you, wink wink, uh, of the Asus P8 P67 Deluxe.